So, um, yes. Sin City, um, we just put out our new line of glassware uh, with Sin City uh, logo and Katie's Club Eagles logo. Uh, uh, we have a set of Mini Mates next, a um, box set based on the Yellow Bastard storyline. We've got another one based on the, the, long, the Hard to Buy and another one based on uh, the Big Fat Kill. Uh -huh. um, and then we're going to be doing select figures, uh, black and white with deluxe bases. And, uh, these also are cool. Color like variations cool. of Mark and uh, Hardigan at uh, Toys R Us. Uh, with more basic faces, not as involved as it was in front of Alright. Um, this is all based off the first Sin City movie. Uh, Kill Bill, uh, as you can see up on the top shelf, we're doing uh, select figures for that as well. Um, this base they're on will, it will be a buildable base that will come in various different figures. Um, but uh, Go Go and the Bride are in the first assortment of uh, select figures. And uh -huh. there will be uh, different uh, Johnny Moe will come with some crazy 88 heads. And uh, we've got a bunch of other characters planned out as well. And they'll also be doing the box sets. Um, the uh, first one has uh, the House of Blue Leaves fight with uh, the Bride and Gildo and uh, Oren Ishii and Sophie Fatal. Uh -huh. And then we're also going to do a, a line of a box set of crazy 88s. And we've got a couple more as well that have uh, different characters like Pi Mei and Bill and all that. And uh, this is our Back to the Future class. Fifth Cannon's Pleasure Paradise. Uh, we're going to do a, it's going to be part of our line of glassware. We're calling it Glasses to Go. Uh, that's the old uh, uh, glasses we get at the fast food restaurant. It's also part of our overall line of real wear, which is items that you might see inside the world of the movie, like the Fifth Cannon's Pleasure Paradise glasses, Katie's Club Pico's glasses. Uh, and for Pulp Fiction, we're doing a Jack Rabbit Slim's glass. Uh, these are all items that you would maybe find in that world of the movie. Right. We're also going to be doing Pulp Fiction Select Figures. Uh, you can see with uh, Charles Wallace and uh, Julius. Cool, it's my and, favorite. Uh, and there will be a Vincent series too, uh, as well as uh, Mia and Nicole. And we've got uh, Mini Mates as well. We're starting off with a two pack of Jules and Vincent in classic outfits and then a uh, box set based on uh, the Night of Jack Rabbit Slims, the Day of New Orleans. Uh -huh. We'll have more in the future as well for different things like the Dying Earth. The Butch and Sellers adventure that they go on. I see Jay and Silent Bob down here. Yeah, I got Jay and Silent Bob. Those are our seven select figures. And then we're going to do boxes of mini mates, banks, and all that. Sure. That is classic Batman. Yes, this is the classic Batman TV series. That's Adam West and Burn Ward. It's Batman and Robin. We're doing the Resin Bus. It's $59.99. And then we're going to be doing all. Most of the villains from the series, all really? the main villains. Yeah, we've uh, shown the Joker, um, who's not here this weekend. Riddler will be coming after that, and uh, the Penguin, and, and, and uh, even some more obscure villains we have planned out. Um, also doing vinyl banks and bottle openers and uh, silicone trays for the classic TV series as well. Uh -huh. Universal Monsters, this is our final series of Universal Monsters 7 inch figures. We have a new, more poseable creature from the Black Lagoon and a lot more articulation than our original release. And the creature looks amazing. Yeah, it came out really great. Um, Van Helsing is our own design section, not Universal Monsters. This is um, an original concept. And yeah. uh, Son of Frankenstein, Fra Frankenstein's monster. Uh, so nice. these, are the, these are the select versions that will be at specialty stores. Um, I believe Toys R Us also have basic versions of one, uh, two or, or more of these figures. Cool. And then the Universal Monsters Medellin and Mutant um, will be our next 8-inch uh, bank. And we're going to be, I think there will be another release this year as well, I'm not positive about that. But it's a final bank like we do with uh, uh, Godzilla or uh, uh, our Star Wars banks. Right. Speaking of Godzilla, you can see the banks down here. Mecha Godzilla, um, 1989 Godzilla, and uh, Ghidra, King Ghidra. Uh, the, uh, we do have a full figure version of Godzilla that's out right now. You can see it in the shop. The bust will be coming out very soon for Godzilla, followed by Ghidra and then Mecha Godzilla. We're also going to do a box set of mini mates Godzilla, Gigan, Mothra, and Titanosaurus. And we have plenty more of those as well. We also have Mecha Godzilla model. Oh, nice. Star Trek, um, we're showing for the first time our NX2000 XL uh, Well, this is our Star Trek 2 phaser right there, right? And uh, that's a uh, really detachable cricket phaser. And then behind that, we see the Excelsior from Star Trek 3. This is the crew of the, the, uh, the original Excelsior that's got the uh, dialogue from Commander Styles. Uh, it's played by James B. Second. Nice. And then uh, Captain.
Kingston Kirk uh, will be our next final plus thing. Uh, we have a stock that's for sale now. Kirk will be the next one. So, uh, let's see. Um, Walking Dead. Uh, I think. I think this this is our our second um, vinyl bank. Uh, this is our second pet vinyl bank. We did the first pet, and this will be the other pet. Uh, they're currently showing two pet zombies. Uh -huh. And this is our next assortment of uh, Mini Mates Series Six. Uh, most of these things here are going to be in specialty stores and comic shops. But uh, Rosita and Gabriel here, as well as this. Um, balding zombie with the guts hanging out. They're going to be exclusively at Toys R Us. He's falling over a little bit there. Uh, Aliens is our next big Mini Mates line that we're launching. Um, series 1 will be coming out uh, in the fall. Um, not, not that June date is indicated. We're going to do a, a, a series of single packed ones that will be uh, like an army builder assortment where you can get a lot of aliens and a few different um, some of the more minor characters. Carter uh -huh. Paul Reiser's character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the original Alien 1979 uh, box set with the 35th anniversary. So oh, nice. the Big Chap and uh, Ripley and uh, that's Tom Scarrett's character. And uh, the uh, metal bottle here is next to the alien head will be coming out very soon, but next is the uh, pulse rifle and the face hugger. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is our next big license. Uh, we've got a pizza cutter and a metal bottle coming out. Uh, and then we do an assortment of mini-mates. Uh, we don't have the turtles here today, but they'll be here tomorrow. We've got the sea shredder, some foot soldiers, and uh, the clan ninjas, and uh, yeah, a couple of the U-Tron aliens. And then down below you can see our vinyl banks. Right. It's all of them. Nice. Uh, we also have a couple of more metal bottle openers coming. We for Lost in Space and one for Star Wars. That's the old man speeder. Oh, I see the And then uh, a new vinyl. We've got uh, Ghostbusters, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Which yes, the first uh, Stay Puft. Yeah, excellent. Toasted. <laughs> Over here is our Marvel Tower. Um, we have new bus coming out for Amazing Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man and Green Goblin. On the other side, you can see a present statue, a 7 inch statue, full body. Uh, and this is our retro Spider-Man limited edition box set. It reproduces the original 1970s Mego Spider-Man, and then gives you two more costumes you can dress them up in. Uh, one, a more detailed uh, modern costume, uh, or semi-modern costume. It actually has web pits and movable uh, wrist uh, web shooters, so it's, it's sort of a retro style in itself, but it's a more realistic interpretation of the character. And then uh, Peter Parker uh, is where you go out with it. Um, new Marvel Selects down here. We have uh, our Captain America 2 figure comes out next week, but after that it's going to be the Falcon. Oh, and um, the Marvel Zombies Magneto will be coming out sometime this summer, I believe. Zombie Magneto. Yeah, as seen on the cover of Marvel Zombies Dead Days, uh, which is a recreation of X-Men number one, it's covered by Jim Lee, uh, but painted by Arthur Sidham and having them all be zombies. He's a zombie. He was, a, he was a showcased on that cover. Oh, he was never actually a zombie in the comic book, but for that cover he was. Nice. Uh, and over here you can see our Captain America 2 and Amazing Spider-Man 2 mini made assortments. Uh, Captain America 2 will only be especially, but Amazing Spider-Man will have a specialty assortment and also um, a Toys R Us exclusive um, two pack of uh, flashback Spider Man and Max Dillon. Plus, Toys R Us will have some variants uh, where their electro will be translucent and there is uh, Green Goblin with a different facial expression. Down below, you can see our uh, Guardians of the Galaxy mini mates, which will be coming out this summer. Uh -huh. And uh, there will be an exclusive Toys R Us figure, Yondu. Uh, the rest will be available. Uh, special people will be the only ones to get uh, Gamora and Nebula with the Nova Core Centurion and the Sakaar Trooper. Um, and uh, but Star Lord and Ronan and uh, uh, Drax and Groot and Rocket will be uh, Toys R Us and special. Okay. Uh, Yondu will also come with Sakaar too. Uh, X Men Days of Future Past will only be at specialty stores. Uh, six of the eight are here: um, Future Wolverine, Past Wolverine, Future Magneto, Past Magneto, Future Xavier, Past Xavier. Um, they'll all come in different, different they'll come in different configurations in that. Uh, but Mystique and Storm are the other two that are now seen. Those will only be at comic shops and specials. Yep. That series, those are series 57 to 58. 59 is going to be all new X Men, uh, based on the, the best selling book that they've got out right now with the original five X Men in modern times. 
Uh, right. So they just gave them all new costumes and decided to showcase those here. Uh, Bobby Drake, a deep powered Iceman, would be the variant figure. And uh, the Army Builder, Sentinel, will come with both Iceman and Bobby Drake. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was to be out in the summer or fall. And uh, after the best of Marvel Mini Mate Series 3 is some of our bigger characters in more deluxe versions. So Luke Cage will come with enough parts to give him a couple different looks. Same with Iron Fist. Uh, Grey Hulk, if you take off all his big parts, then you'll have a Bruce Banner underneath. Really? Yes. Nice. And uh, Ant, uh, Ant Man comes with a lab coat uh, so you can dress him up in his lab gear, but he'll also just have his regular Ant Man costume. Uh -huh. And Iron Man, Spider Man, Captain America, Hawkeye. Uh, just new versions of them that are uh, different from, uh, from the ones we've done before. And uh, our next big license is uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Okay. Um, it's been doing real well on Xbox, and uh, we're going to have these mini mate sets out this summer, uh, followed shortly by after by the uh, two packs of five inch scale figures. So you'll get a plant and a zombie uh, in each two pack. Uh, in the middle there, you can see a Yeti bag. Actually, uh, for the mini mates, there will be one set of specialty, which you can see down here on the ground. Uh -huh. And then up here, this is a Toys R Us exclusive box set uh, with a soldier and a scientist. And we're also doing a bank of the Zed Yeti Zombie, uh, who is an oversized character. But that'll be a final bank that'll be in scale to the action figures. Nice. It's going to punch out. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, your name was? Zach. 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 Yeah. Zach, if you post anything, feel free to drop me an email, send me a link. Okay, I definitely will. And this is Diamond, Diamond Select, Select Toys. Toys. Excellent. All right, thank, thank you. you.